hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing great i'm doing fine by the grace of god today we are making a recipe called garlic some of you already heard about this some of you never heard about this before so let's discover how we are going to make this recipe thank you for this recipe we have two cups of self-raising flour but you can use plain flour we have a pinch of salt. We have powdered milk, half cup of powdered milk. We have eight gram of vanilla sugar. We are going to use one teaspoon of clams zest. We have a half cup of sugar. 190 gram of butter. In the bowl, we are putting the two cups of self-raising flour. As I said before, you can use plain flour. I only had the self-raising flour that I'm using. This is the half cup of the powdered milk. Half cup of sugar. If you don't like too much sugar, you can reduce the quantity of the sugar. A pinch of salt, not too much. 8 gram of van vanilla sugar, 1 teaspoon of the clams zest, but you can use the orange zest if you have. Also, I'm going to leave the link under the description box on how to make the clams zest. We have finished mixing everything together. Now we are putting the butter. As I say, it's 190 gram of butter. Now we are mixing everything together until everything are mixed properly. Keep on mixing, keep on mixing. Now we are using the chopping board. We are putting the dough in the chopping board so we can mix it properly. This is the hardest part. That you need to take your time be patient keep on mixing keep on mixing this is the hardest part you keep mixing 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 if you know how to make kwanga this is the way to do it the more you are doing it you will start seeing the texture of the dough will be changing as well it takes time just keep doing it be patient do it and do it and do it and you get the result now we finish mixing it together you can see the texture has changed very nice mixed dough you can see the texture is breaking very nicely if you see this that means the dough is ready We're gonna start making the small balls. machine to make the galette i preheated the machine before use 
so i'll be putting four galettes at the time After like uh, after two minutes and a half, the galette is ready. We are just taking them off the raffle machine. So it depends on how your machine works. It doesn't mean if my one took like uh, two minutes and a half, yours will take two minutes and a half. Just keep on your eye on the machine and see how fast it works. Just to make sure you don't get them burned. Here is the result of the galette. Very, very nice. Very lovely. Very delicious. If you have enjoyed watching the video, please like, comment and share. If it's your first time on our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you.